Welcome back to Fast Gadgets. So we are on our way right now to the Arecibo Observatory, which is located in the uh, city of Arecibo, but way up in the mountains and uh, very treacherous drive to get up there, but interesting all the same. In this particular road, we do have some guardrails, but most of the roads have no guardrails. So if you do decide to make a trip up here, be careful and take your time in the video here it looks like we're driving a lot faster than we really are so the Arecibo Observatory was built in the 1960s and it originally was going to be used to uh, study the ionosphere but of course the government had interest in it in tracking ICBMs so with the help of the government and the NSF uh, this particular really what was at the time the largest uh, telescope was built. The telescope is actually a spherical reflector. It's not a parabola like they uh, would be normally. So because of that, uh, as you're going to see in the video coming up, the central component can actually be moved so you can point it anywhere in the, uh, anywhere in the sky within its range of movement. So very interesting. The uh, total diameter is 305 meters and it has a uh, collecting area of 73,000 meters squared with a focal length of 435 feet. So it's really quite large. Now the telescope itself is made up of, uh, there on the base, is made up of tiny 3x6 aluminum plates. I know that sounds kind of funny but there are literally thousands of these things and um, you have to wear special shoes to walk on the surface of the telescope or it will fall through. On this clip here, uh, we're looking at the small car that's used. It's a cable car that's taken up uh, to the central unit of the telescope to do work on it. And the car is actually on its way to pick up somebody that's up there right now. Uh, which would make me extremely nervous. I don't know about you. Now the telescope is operated 24 hours a day and it has a massive 20 terawatt continuous signal that it can send out at 2380 megahertz um, and lesser powered signals at different frequencies but it definitely is extremely powerful and has sent signals to other galaxies uh, in the 70s but those signals are going to take quite some time to reach uh, that particular galaxy. So if you're interested in seeing this telescope you might want to make it a quick visit because the National Science Foundation is considering um, decommissioning and dismantling the telescope even though uh, it's one of the largest now there is a Chinese telescope that's very similar that's even larger but this one is still considered the most accurate um, at almost a thousand feet across but the NSF has begun um, looking into the possibility of decommissioning this unit and moving their money elsewhere and if that happens uh, the telescope would no longer be able to operate because its budget would be cut too drastically. So again, if you're interested, go check it out while you still can. Uh, it's definitely a fascinating thing to see and it's, it's awe-inspiring to think about it. Thank you again for watching Fast Gadgets and I will see you in the next video. If you did like this video, be sure to like, subscribe, and share. I always appreciate it when you do. Um, if you didn't like the video, you know, you can always dislike it and you can always leave me a comment either way, I suppose. And we are ending here on the beautiful beach that's about five minutes away from the apartment I'm staying in. Um, thought I would let you have a look at some of the eye candy that Puerto Rico has to offer. See you in the next video.